So over the last 20 years, I've learned, okay, what are the keys to being a great deal maker? And in real estate, there's really three components to looking at a deal. A lot of times people think, oh, it's only about the price. And as I've grown and learned more about doing more deals and bigger deals, you know, it's not about just price. So price is the number one, and that's the first thing you need to focus on when structuring a deal, but it's not everything. So you have to agree on the value, but price is just the first aspect. Number two, it's gonna be terms. So the, all cash is not always ideal. People have this perception that people always want all cash, but as the deal gets bigger or as uh, unique seller situations occur, they don't want the cash right up front. They need to plan for tax situations that are occurring so you can create creative structures where they take a deferred payment on some of the equity or they reinvest back into another property with you or they reinvest in your funds. And then third is timing. Timing is critical in business. Good idea, bad timing, doesn't work. So in real estate, executing on the timeline that works for you, you know, where you might get advantages by closing in that calendar year, and then at the same time, helping them out by closing on the right timeline so they can maximize their sale is just as important as just those other two items. So putting those all together help you become a great deal maker, and you can actually frame the way you think about doing a deal through that perception or through that idea.